राधाकिशन सर सर गुड मॉर्निंग स्टार्ट वेबिनार गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव सेशन ऑन वेबिनार सेशन ऑन टेक्नोलॉजी for online learning in education uh, welcome to all the participants i my it's my privilege to welcome sri omkar bali uh, i am going to give uh, give his brief introduction omkar bali is co principal investigator and implementation head of education technology program called connected learning initiative clicks at tata institute of social science mumbai six program is also implemented in 300 schools of telangana state uh, one of uh, the, among this one of sirsila is also one of uh, the among these district, districts he has experience uh, spanning the fields of information technology and education he has closely worked with the government of uh, government and low fee private schools to improve teaching learning practices through teacher professional development and also teaching he also has expertise in designing activity based learning and has worked with rishi valley uh, institute for educational resources river for designing a dissemination model for their multi grade multi level methodology that is mgml i invite you to this session sir Uh, please continue the se session yeah thank you so much uh, dr radha krishna garu uh, let me share my screen okay uh, good morning uh, all uh, all the teachers uh, it's a privilege uh, that time here and uh, Uh, SCRT has given me the opportunity to talk about technology for online learning in school education. Uh, uh, we have been working with government of Telangana for past uh, five years uh, with the Clicks program, and uh, that also gives us some experience of uh, uh, field implementation, like how technology works in the field and what works, what doesn't work, and uh, that experience also brings us. Uh, to work on the educational technology space and a uh, lot of in today's presentation i will be bringing uh, the experience of uh, clicks program uh, before uh, before i start uh, i thought i will ask a few question to the participants and maybe you can uh, put it on the chat the uh, first question would be this uh, we are in this current situation of covid and and uh, all of us have started uh, webinars we have started attending courses 
So what do you think? Will ICT be able to address the issues that we are currently facing with the school education? You can respond in your chat, yes, no, some extent, not sure, or you don't know, whatever. Okay. I'm going to ask one more question after this. Uh, so uh, maybe you have to respond by one single word or maybe a phrase, uh, two, three words. Uh, the next question would be this. What are the current challenges of using technology in education? And uh, especially uh, we, uh, the teachers are from the different uh, parts of the state, from urban, semi-urban, rural, very remote locations. So what kind of challenges you see when we talk about using technology in education? I, I think this, this is a big question which many of you might be having that maybe for some it is making sense for maybe some it is not making sense or maybe for some they are thinking and they are open so what comes to your mind when i am when i think about uh, this uh, i i think about these words and still there are some question marks for example i definitely think about access to device i'm sure many of you might also be thinking about access to device it can be mobile it can be computer it can be laptop it can be tablet and maybe we also have access to devices but maybe we are not we are not very comfortable with the technology devices or software or applications so our, even our digital skills might might uh, be a challenging maybe sometimes uh, in, in technology, I think one more point which keeps coming to, uh, to the surface is again about data privacy. The more and more technology we are using, uh, the more and more also we are exposed uh, and our data is exposed. So maybe this is also a challenge which uh, might, uh, we might be thinking about. Yeah. I'll go to, uh, I thought before we get into the details of it, we see, uh, because the concerns are, uh, it talks about something. For example, this report, which is by Government of India only, it, 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 uh, the report talks about access to two things. One is device, second is access to internet data. And we constantly see that with every year, uh, the, there is an increase in uh, subscription to data and also to uh, mobile devices or any wireless device. So uh, why I'm showing this information because it, it, it indicates something. It indicates that we are moving in certain direction and, and uh, slowly there is increase to access to devices and also to the data. And recently with the COVID situation, uh, there was a study done by, again, uh, a group called Associate Chambers of Commerce of India and a consulting company. And it was just a few, a week back, this report was uh, released. And it talked about that in 2017, we had 469, uh, 468 million users uh, using smartphone. But by two, 2022, we expect to have around uh, 850 million uh, population having uh, smartphones. So why I'm bringing this? Because the, the concern which we have now, I think with time it may change, uh, but access to device comes with the, its own baggages, but this is how it, uh, it looks. Now the question is, why are we here? Why, why are we here and why is this particular webinar we are doing? The purpose of this webinar is, uh, Especially, I want to bring uh, uh, that how, what kind of evidence technology can bring. Technology, yeah, my evidence is Magunish Tawagal Tundi. And how technology can help us, and maybe how technology may not be able to help us. So, especially e session loan and technology ma kela help chase Tundi, our Vishayam Pella and focus chela and Kuntunan. Second is technology only a okay, particular tool. Nakukati application tells in the Nakuku tool tells in Alaka Kundaguda technology, yella quality of teaching learning classroom no improve chegal tedi. A Visham Logodane, Irish Matla and Kuntuna. Inka, why we are doing this session? Maybe Miran Kuntun Revama Urlo put cell phones a levu, while a regular regular phone, Nadi, while a aim device laid data laid, but it's fine. Maybe today 
uh, today uh, they don't have, maybe they don't have now, but what we are doing is maybe 40%, 50% of people who have access to data uh, device, maybe we are using that. Inka technology and te what, Inka ne name and which we discussed shall and technology doesn't mean that a student or a teacher has to be in front of device all the time. Technology and te only in screen munde untano, screen loan in a choose ta untano, at a good card of technology. So, uh, so we are preparing for present and future with the, all these webinars what are happening now. So, uh, what are the specific objectives of this session? Uh, okay, online learning and in basic uh, introduce uh, what is virtual learning, what is blended learning, um, uh, and what is synchronous asynchronous, especially uh, uh, technology and only screen hands on activities are also important any and uh, uh, i will focus a little bit on um, how assessments uh, can be designed in the virtual space in the context, assessments uh, chala teachers kandar assessment chala important and this day and mem topics at which mem exams ke la ready cheyal or wal topics sadipiste pudu mem assessments ela design cheskoal especially in the remote location lo unte mem face to face le mem paper pen paper pencil ledu appudu ela design cheyal technology tools use cheskoni ani adi kuda oka discuss cheyal antuna inka virtual space lo feedback etla important untadani adi kuda ee session lo focus cheyal antuna so uh, let us start with uh, two things online online learning ante okate uh, definition em unnadante online learning ante mem eppudu online undali ante eppudu mem ela ee session lo unnam it is completely online so ante synchronous idi so online learning lo two major types of learning emphasis ustadi okati ante virtual schooling and second is a blended learning Virtual schooling concept and tech are completely technology based occur face to face a component under the Atla studies Atla learning mem completely virtual schooling and term a current and a student would a computer Dwara or any particular device there are teachers access chester assignments access chester lesson access chester in a students good students good uh, only computer dwara ne anni access chestaru vala face to face vala majjalo em interaction undadu virtual schooling which will be a completely virtual environment for them but virtual schooling lo kuda konni advantages unnai em advantages ante meeku oka physical space avasaram ledhu inka meeku face to face kalvakunda kuda meer synchronous tool mem ippudu ela maatladukuntunnam synchronous atla tools use chesko synchronous kuda maatladukochu maatladukochu while at time there can pull all lesson plans are the coach you all assignments you each coach you so virtual school lo and the infrastructure make requirement later apart from the technology platforms in the virtual school in coca advantage in call and a particular learner can go on their own speed they can go on their own speed if student don't have to have a fixed time that from morning uh, seven to uh, morning, uh, whatever nine to ten, they have to study a particular topic. So, in virtual school, comes with a lot of flexibility. Uh, uh, but when it comes to blended learning, blended learning, ante mere already put chase to blended learning. Blended learning, lo face to face component is must that we meet our learner face to face, definitely. But there is a component where teachers and students are engaging online or uh, with some technology platforms. Chala governments decide to rente regularly school start chekunda only two days a pillal school pills. Mikita Rojalu while technology platform dwara or technology or WhatsApp dwara connect chase pet them teachers. E model is called a blended model. So it has its own advantage. Yendukante, first of all, teachers and students when they meet face to face. The human interaction builds and the social learning builds uh, and, and, and it helps in the learning process. And in the collaborative uh, learning, face-to-face -face interactions are useful. I think. So blended learning is, is the, a virtual learning, but in addition to virtual learning, it also has face-to-face -face component. We put teachers online courses enroll chester. 
అది కంప్లీట్లీ ఆన్లైన్ ఉంటే అది వర్చువల్ స్కూలింగ్ బట్ వాళ్ళు ఒక వర్క్ షాప్ అటెండ్ చేసింది ఫోర్ డేస్ ఫైవ్ డేస్ వర్క్ షాప్ అటెండ్ చేసి ఒక కోర్స్ ఎన్రోల్ చేస్తే దెన్ వీ కాల్ ఇట్ యాజ్ అ బ్లెండెడ్ లెర్నింగ్ సో when we say technology based education so these two are they keep coming in the picture uh, second thing is uh, synchronous learning and asynchronous learning ee anni endu kantuna ee anni mem endu discuss chestunnam ante meer mundu velta velta meer kuda itla plan chese avasaram padutundochu meer kuda synchronous sessions plan cheskoval padutundi asynchronous sessions plans you may have to plan so synchronous is completely when all the users all the participants have to be present online at a time so upur mem chese session idi youtube lo me choose a session it's a synchronous mem andar online unnam mem interact kuda chesukochu meer chat dwara interact chestunnaru inka vere options kuda ela unte ante meer voice dwara kuda interact chesukochu ikkada but ikkada ee option upur ledu but voice dwara kuda interact chesukochu so synchronous is when every participant is together and logged in so there are few applications which are there which we use uh, we don't have to go into those things uh, yeah so what are the advantages of synchronous thing synchronous super advantage ela ante nenu ippudu ikkada session isukuntunna meeku emaina doubt vachindante uppurke appudu meer aa chat lo question estaru but ikkada endante ma group chaala large group undochu 300 400 teachers undochu maybe maybe the maybe the teacher or the facilitator might not be able to answer all the questions but in a small class where there are 30 students 40 students and teacher is doing a synchronous session so they may be able to manage uh, the discussion inkoka advantage indante peer discussion kuda kavachu ippudu ikkada ee session lo kuda panelists unnaru four five panelists unnaru aa panel kuda mem discussion cheyochu participants kuda at a time discussion cheyochu inkas Uh, synchronous advantage in kind that they we are talking to each other at at a real time so it helps in connect memo ee roju message pedthe me rape chusi na respond isthunna atla ledu uppurke eppudu nadutundi so pillalku madhya madhya lo adi chaala avasaram padutundi mem completely for example whatsapp dwara ne connect aitunam ankondi so uh, the engagement uh, the engagement may might weaken so there is a importance of having a synchronous engagement with students so in future if we are doing we may have to have synchronous engagement with students if we are especially not able to meet students face to face what are the major limitations of synchronous its major is infrastructure which is about device people need to have device to connect in synchronous and second is they need to have a good internet speed to be connected for example in remote locations we may have not necessarily but we may have challenge that uh, there is not a proper internet connectivity and it hampers the synchronous inka synchronous lo ok sari em aidadante andar connections problem ayye kuda aa session e meer proper kaadu so synchronous has especially the technological challenges and importantly in synchronous the facilitator need to be comfortable and little bit savvy with the technology tool so that they are able to facilitate the discussion so this is about synchronous uh, communication and learning asynchronous meer upur prastutam largely ma country lo upur teachers manage chese di ela pillal tho pani chestunnar it is a asynchronous model especially upur uh, vacation unne andukane vacation pillal kaakunda vera pillal vala your syllabus complete kaledu or kondari syllabus complete ayipoyindi but exam iyalunadi vala tho ela connect ayyar chat అటెంప్ట్ చేస్తుండ్రు వాట్సాప్ లో మెసేజ్ పెడుతుండ్రు ఆర్ వాట్సాప్ లో కంటెంట్ పెడుతుండ్రు సో స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆర్ లుకింగ్ అట్ దట్ కంటెంట్ దే ఆర్ స్టడింగ్ వాట్ ఎవర్ దే ఆర్ డూయింగ్ ది యాక్టివిటీస్ అండ్ దే ఆర్ కమింగ్ బ్యాక్ సో ఇట్స్ నాట్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ రియల్ టైమ్ అంటే మీకు అక్కడికక్కడే అట్ అ టైమ్ డిస్కషన్స్ అయితే లేవు మేబీ కొంత అయితుండొచ్చు బట్ ఇట్స్ ఏ సింక్లోనస్ ఆర్ మేర్ మీరు ఏం చేస్తుండ్రు టీచర్స్ మీరు ఒక యాక్టివిటీ ఇచ్చిండ్రు అండ్ టూ డేస్ ఆఫ్టర్ టూ డేస్ మీరు మళ్ళీ పిల్లలతో అడుగుతుండ్రు మీరు ఎలా చేసిండ్రు యాక్టివిటీ ఏం మీరు చేసిండ్రు మీరు మాకు చూపించండి సో ఏ సింక్రోనస్ ఇస్ అ డిస్కనెక్టెడ్ ఇట్స్ అ కనెక్టెడ్ బట్ ఇట్స్ దెర్ ఇస్ అ టైమ్ డిలే ఇన్ దిస్ అండ్ ద సిస్టమ్స్ విచ్ మోస్ట్లీ టీచర్స్ హ్యావ్ బీన్ యూజింగ్ ఇస్ వాట్సాప్ అండ్ టెలిగ్రామ్ ఒక లెర్నింగ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ సిస్టమ్ అని ఉంటుంది మూడల్ సో అది కూడా యూజువలీ చాలా టీచర్స్ యూజ్ చేస్తారు so maybe there will be a separate session for moodle for all the teachers then maybe you will understand about moodle there 
Yeah. So I will briefly talk about uh, how does assessment uh, look in virtual environment, and especially when when you are you have also started interacting with students. Put it. In any any examples, if you can come to know, and the virtual assessment in virtual learning. Look. Okay. Simple example. Yeah, the mere put maximum teachers try just to know. Okay. Question. Mere. పోస్ట్ చేస్తుండ్రు వాట్సాప్ టెలిగ్రామ్ ద్వారా నేను ఒక ఈ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఒక టీచర్ ఒక స్టూడెంట్ కాన్వర్జేషన్ నేను ఒక క్లిక్స్ టీచర్ ఛత్తీస్గఢ్ టీచర్ తో ఈ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ తీసుకున్నాను ఆ టీచర్ ఇట్లా క్వశ్చన్ ఒక పోస్ట్ చేసింది వాట్ ఈస్ ద డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ వాట్ ఈస్ డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ కన్స్ట్రక్టింగ్ అ స్క్వేర్ బై కన్స్ట్రక్టింగ్ సర్కిల్స్ అండ్ కనెక్టింగ్ లైన్స్ ఇక్కడ ఎలా ఆ టీచర్ ప్లాన్ చేసిందంటే ఈ క్వశ్చన్ పోస్ట్ చేసి టెలిగ్రామ్ పైన ఇది చేసింది అది అయిన తర్వాత పిల్లలు ఇక్కడ ఫస్ట్ మేము ఇక్కడ ఇది చూస్తున్నాం కదా ఇది పేపర్ స్క్రీన్ షాట్ పిల్లలు పేపర్ పైన ఇది రాసిండ్రు మీరు కూడా చాలా టీచర్స్ ఇలానే చేస్తుండొచ్చు ఇప్పుడు పేపర్ పైన రాసి వాళ్ళు వాట్సాప్ ద్వారా పంపుతుండొచ్చు సో ఈ ఈ పేపర్ లో ఆ టీచర్ ఏం చేసింది అన్ని రెస్పాన్సెస్ అరౌండ్ దేవర్ దేవర్ అరౌండ్ సమ్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ రెస్పాన్సెస్ సో ఆ రెస్పాన్సెస్ అన్ని చూసి టీచర్ ఏం చేసిందంటే ఒక ఒక షీ లుక్ డెట్ అటన్ ప్యాటర్న్ అండ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్లీ ఇప్పుడు ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఎలా రావాలా ఎందుకంటే మేము ఆన్లైన్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ టెక్నాలజీ ద్వారా ఎడ్యుకేషన్ చేస్తే ఇప్పుడు కూడా పేపర్ పెన్ ఉండాలా దానికి ఇంకా ఏమైనా టెక్నాలజీ అడ్వాంటేజ్ తీసుకోవచ్చా అని ఈ టీచర్ ఏమి ఎలా చేసిందంటే ఫర్ జోమెట్రిక్ కన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ ఒక టూల్ ఉన్నది జియో జిబ్రా అని ఆ జియో జిబ్రా టూల్ పైన ఇది సేమ్ ఈ క్వశ్చన్ మీరు ఇట్లా రిటర్న్ లో ఆన్సర్ చేసిన కదా సేమ్ ఆ టూల్ యూస్ చేసి ఇప్పుడు అది కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ చేసి చూసి తర్వాత ఇంకొకసారి విత్ ఫిగర్ మీరు మళ్ళీ ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ రాయమని చెప్పింది సో వాట్ షీ వాజ్ డూయింగ్ ఇట్ వాజ్ మోర్ లైక్ అ ఫార్మేటివ్ అసెస్మెంట్ వెన్ షీ వాజ్ డూయింగ్ బికాస్ ద లర్నింగ్ వాజ్ హ్యాపనింగ్ బట్ అట్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ షీ వాజ్ డూయింగ్ ఫార్మల్ ఫార్మేటివ్ అసెస్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ది లర్నింగ్ సో వాట్ షీ డెడ్ ఇస్ టు మేక్ ది యాక్టివిటీ even more interesting and also uh, 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 engage them in better learning process so what she did it she used this tool then all the students started sharing this uh, geogebra uh, uh, picture then then based on these two responses she did their assessment about this particular concept so that is how uh, she did it so i i say this as a open ended question which we may also have to plan with our students so we uh, when we are working with our students we don't have to jump directly to one solution but we have to put it in a sequential uh, plan it and design it and use technology very meaningfully uh, and uh, our students to engage on such tools this is one example which i thought i should give about open ended question it was open ended for students now uh, this i want to show uh especially uh I, we see that technology and the largely largely lot of videos lot of videos and technology means we jump very much to the vid- youtube videos so but uh, i think you, videos can also be you can be used uh, very interestingly they can be integrated very interestingly so here this is one more example which i want to show why i am showing this example because this is how we will be looking at resources in the field like mark mark oka students oka concept for example let us say that make uh, 10th exam revision cheyal unna pillalu they already have textbook but maybe maybe they are not engaging much with the textbook so you as a teacher maybe may mark oka intla resource identify cheyal padatademo which uh, student might find it interesting and may engage with it so atlati purpose gurinchi kuda we will have to search for some resources so this is one example which i want to show about motion here a teacher want to introduce the concept of motion and especially with the idea of uh, distance and time basically displacement uh, uh, distance and time they want to introduce so what the teacher does here is whatsapp dwara ne ankundam appudu motion gurinchi valaku sadipiyal anukuntam so the teacher sends only this first video and ask this question
Yeah, there are two ways of doing it. As a teacher, I send this, and again, open-ended question. I ask students, tell me why are you able to tell uh, that the boat is moving or not moving? One way of doing this, then may teacher may post this. Yeah, so there are two ways in which the teacher can share the first video, ask for response, or the teacher can share both the videos and ask for the comparison. And in that process, the, in multiple ways, the teacher can use it. For example, the, if the teacher has already taught, teacher munde motion certification nanta ipo indi, upur assess challenge and use or to start with the idea of uh, motion itself, the teacher can use it. So as a teacher, we will have to look about how I want to uh, use this. And again, this can be an open-ended question and it can be used for introducing and starting the topic or after the topic is done, maybe the teacher wants to uh, use it for assessment. So uh, again, how will that student will respond? The, the, if, if they have to respond by any technology device or whatever device they have, they have to respond. But this is something which is applicable for regular uh, uh, classroom also. Sorry. Uh, I will show one more uh, this thing. Uh, uh, this is again a, a video, but here I'm, I'm introducing how multiple choice question is designed. And uh, we tools could use session room, and especially multiple choice question design chase the antrogula yella design session room. And the uh, assessment completely in a end exam lo yanta marks just to ne adi choose the nika or nin sad picture topic is manchi gardam ka wale nin dantlo formative assessment integrate session so that student understand the concept better. So you will see one example here. Uh, um, I will play this very short uh, thing. It is a story, uh, a story uh, where a new boy joins uh, to a school and the teacher is introducing that boy to the class. Uh, then based on this story, the objective here is the objective of a student. Uh, if we show this video to a student, the purpose of this video is to uh, 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 for the listening skills of the uh, student to improve the listening skills of the student. So based on the listening, the questions are designed here. I'll just pay a short, uh, not uh, a full video. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I think the video, uh, the audio is not coming. I thought the audio is coming, uh, but it's okay. So basically, um, basically uh, here, that's what I, as I said, the teacher is to introducing a student here and the students in the classroom, they are talking about what they have done in the weekend. Uh, uh, like three, four students have told that they have done that there's some, some of them have gone to market Kondaru wala inti dagare undi wala sister help chesin ro kondaru oka oka my picture chusin di ani atla wala chaptun ro so inka teacher introduce chesi ap kotha abai ko help cheman chaptun di 
So let us see how is the assessment design for this assessment design. So uh, in, uh, yeah. So if you can see my screen, so yeah. So after listening to the story, this is how assessment looks like. For example, like a question on what is the main theme, uh, main thing that happens in the story? The question is the teacher and the class. Now the student have to respond. A story in Taravata, student is respond to question. student kenta e story For example, how it is designed. Let us say that I click on uh, talk about uh, story is the teacher and the class talk about zo likes and dislikes zo ante akotta bai atani likes and dislikes gurinch discuss cheshina man class lo cheptundi so let me select this and click click and check answer sorry check answer yeah so what it says it says wrong but at the same time, it, say, it's, it, it gives me a uh, prompt saying that, wouldn't this be a part of an introduction that a new student goes through? So this likes, dislikes, introduction part untada, later lo ospunda. So now it says, now, would you like to look at the options and try again? And Malla story could be recap is that today we have, we have a new student in class. Let's welcome him. This is Zo. Uh, uh, yeah, no problem. Audio, I'm not playing. So, uh, so again, this gives a prompt. So, what happens? Uh, it gives a prompt saying that you again think about it. So, maybe based on my recalling, I, I click again on some other option. Uh, help Zoe with his study. The teacher and the class help Zoe with his study. Now, I will check the answer. It says wrong. Well, the teacher asked the student to help Zo and is helpful too, but is that what happens in the entire story? It again prompts that, is that happens in the entire story? Recall the audio, discuss this question with your partner and try again. Then maybe let us say I click on this. Then I say, check answer. Then it says, very good, you're correct. The audio story today was about how Zoe is welcomed by his new classmates in Chotapur. So what is happening in this assessment design is at every wrong attempt also, we are reinforcing and we are scaffolding the student. Ante akar tap cheste gura aim problem ledu. Tap cheste lin kodi mik help chesta no. So that mira story ek malla recall chase ko ni akar unna clue gura alon chinchi. You can think about the new option. So that is how the one way of designing assessment where, where we are helping children, even though they are making mistakes, we are helping them to understand this story. So what I think even teachers may have to use such tools because Mirupur lockdown period low videos pumped in remote. Pumping Tarvata, Pillal Kela are the main churali. Okatete Valu uh Valguda paper lo rasin in first example to pitch in a clavala clavache paper ton rasis. But only paper ton rasi put pump mante val pumper mala, valguda bore put. So we have to think about different ways in which we can use the technology means and it helps. This way of assessment helps. So uh, what I'm going to do now is there are two ways in, in which we can do. So one is uh, I am not sure how many teachers know, but I'm a uh, Google form. A uh, Google form is free, but uh, but it, it keeps our data. So we have to be careful about using Google form, but Google form is one way in which we can design multiple choice questions. Uh, but every application comes with their own advantage and disadvantages. For example, Google form, how, how can we make a multiple choice question in Google form? I will just uh, show you a demo of this. So uh, what I do is I, if I go to uh, Google, then I say Google form, Google form, then forms.google.com. 
దెన్ ఐ గో టు ఐ నీడ్ టు హ్యావ్ జీమెయిల్ అకౌంట్ నా జీమెయిల్ అకౌంట్ ఉన్నది ఆ జీమెయిల్ అకౌంట్ ద్వారా ఇది ఓపెన్ అవుతుంది ఇప్పుడు సో ఇక్కడ ఒకటి ప్లస్ సైన్ వచ్చింది బ్లాంక్ ఫామ్ చేయమన్నా సో నేను ఒకటి ప్లస్ పైన క్లిక్ చేసినానండి చేసి ఈ టైటిల్ అడుగుతుంది ఏందని సో నేను ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ స్టోరీ టైమ్ అని పెడతాను స్టోరీ టైమ్ ఇప్పుడు ఇక్కడ ప్లస్ సైన్ లో ఆప్షన్ ఇచ్చింది ఏమేం కావాలి మీకు యాడ్ క్వశ్చన్ అని యాడ్ క్వశ్చన్ క్లిక్ చేసిన తర్వాత ఇక్కడ ఆప్షన్ ఉన్నాయి నాకు మల్టిపుల్ చాయిస్ క్వశ్చన్ కావాలా చెక్ బాక్స్ కావాలా డ్రాప్ డౌన్ కావాలా అని ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఫర్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ థింగ్ ఐ వాంట్ అ మల్టిపుల్ చాయిస్ క్వశ్చన్ దట్ ఇస్ ఐ హ్యావ్ పుట్ అ మల్టిపుల్ చాయిస్ క్వశ్చన్ so i need to put a question here for example let us uh, look at from there what is a question i will just copy paste here so that i save time uh, yeah so i'm just copy pasting here now it asks to put options so for example the uh, class welcomes zo i think welcomes zo so i put this option i go, so first option is done now i go for option 2 uh they discuss likes and dislikes then maybe option 3 i select one more thing uh okay help in studies option 4 uh, uh what is option 4 yeah his zo's favorite color red color this way i am able to uh, story time i am able to create one thing but if you see akkad ela prompt unde aa prompts ikkada option ledhi tool ko ఈ టూల్లో ఆప్షన్ లేదు సో ఇఫ్ ఐ వాంట్ అ టూల్ వేర్ ఐ జస్ట్ వాంట్ రెస్పాన్సెస్ ఆఫ్ స్టూడెంట్ దెన్ మేబీ ఐ ఐ క్యాన్ యూజ్ గూగుల్ ఫామ్ బట్ నాకు ఒక టూల్ ఎలా కావాలంటే అక్కడ నాకు ప్రాంప్ట్ ఉండాలి పిల్లలు తప్పు చేస్తుంటే అక్కడ తప్పు అవుతుందని చెప్పి ఆ పిల్లలకు హెల్ప్ చేసి సో దట్ ఇట్ హెల్ప్స్ దెమ్ ఇన్ లెర్నింగ్ అక్కడ కావాలంటే దెన్ మేబీ గూగుల్ ఫామ్ ఈజ్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు హెల్ప్ మీ but if i just want responses google form is going to help me so this is this for example this is done if i want to see this this is how it looks if i click on preview yeah so this is how it looks in the preview so student we can send this link copy paste this link and send this link to the student and student wherever they are they can yeah hopefully they need to have a device for this so uh, device unte vali di respond cheyochu meeri vala responses choose coach now another way of doing it i want to introduce you to only two tools here one is h5 idi okati google form inkokat h5 pn ni introduce chestunan ikkada i will do a brief introduction but uh, you can go back and uh, try this uh, later uh, yeah the other thing is the similar way how we have seen in the uh, seen in the that story we want to make like this so how do we do that so there is one uh, i think it is important uh, maybe you can note down h5p h5p.org again this is a free uh, open software uh, uh, open source software ante idi completely free software దీంట్లో మా డేటా కూడా వాళ్ళు ఏం పెట్టుకోరు ప్రైవసీ ఇష్యూస్ కూడా లేదు అండ్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఇట్ వీ క్యాన్ వీ క్యాన్ యూజ్ యాజ్ వీ వాంట్ సో దట్ ఈస్ ది బెస్ట్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ అ ఫ్రీ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ సో వాట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ ఈజ్ ఇక్కడ మీకు మీరు లాగిన్ చేసి అకౌంట్ చేసుకోవాలండి నో నా అకౌంట్ ఆల్రెడీ ఉన్నది సో బేసిక్లీ యూజర్ నేమ్ పాస్వర్డ్ చేసి మీరు ఇక్కడ యూజ్ చేసుకోవచ్చు సో నేను నా అకౌంట్ ఉన్నది నేను డైరెక్ట్లీ ఇక్కడ వెళ్ళినాను వెళ్ళిన తర్వాత మీరు ఏం చూస్తారు ఇట్లా వెళ్ళిన తర్వాత మీరు ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ ఇట్లనే చూస్తారు లాగిన్ అయిన తర్వాత ఇక్కడ ఏముంటుంది ట్రై అవుట్ హెచ్ ఫైవ్ పీస్ అని ఒక ఆప్షన్ ఉంటుంది మీకు నేను ఇక్కడ క్లిక్ చేస్తున్నాను వచ్చిందా వచ్చిన తర్వాత ఇక్కడ ఆప్షన్స్ ఉన్నాయి మల్టిపుల్ చాయిస్ క్వశ్చన్ చేసుకోవచ్చు ఇంటరాక్టివ్ వీడియో చేసుకోవచ్చు డ్రాగ్ ద వర్డ్స్ చేసుకోవచ్చు సో నేను ఇక్కడ ప్రస్తుతం 
ఇది చూసుకున్నాను మల్టిపుల్ చాయిస్ క్వశ్చన్ సో లెట్ మీ డూ దిస్ ఐ హ్ సెలెక్టెడ్ వన్ మల్టిపుల్ చాయిస్ క్వశ్చన్ సో దీనికి ఒక టైటిల్ ఏమంటుండ్రు వాళ్ళు సో ఐ విల్ గివ్ అ స్టోరీ టైమ్ అస్ టైటిల్ స్టోరీ టైమ్ నా వాట్ దే ఆర్ సేయింగ్ గివ్ యువర్ క్వశ్చన్ సో లెట్ అస్ అగైన్ ఐ విల్ జస్ట్ కాపీ పేస్ టు సేవ్ ద టైమ్ ఐ హ్ డన్ దిస్ సారీ yeah so what i have done i have copy pasted the question here yeah what is the question now it is saying give me the text for the option text for the option so uh, zo is welcome zo welcomes so this is my first option ipudu ikkada chudandi me tips and feedback ano ka option unnadi ikkada click chesina for example let us say this is the correct answer welcome zo కరెక్ట్ ఉన్నది కరెక్ట్ ఉంటే ఇక్కడ త్రీ ఆప్షన్స్ ఇచ్చాడు మీకు టిప్ టెక్స్ట్ మెసేజ్ డిస్ప్లేడ్ ఇఫ్ ది ఆన్సర్ ఇస్ సెలెక్టెడ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఒక స్టూడెంట్ ఇదే ఆన్సర్ సెలెక్ట్ చేసాడు అప్పుడు మేము ఇక్కడ చెప్తున్నాం యా యు ఆర్ రైట్ యు ఆర్ రైట్ యు హ్యావ్ సెలెక్టెడ్ యు ఆర్ రైట్ వెరీ గుడ్ మేబీ వెరీ గుడ్ దెన్ వీ వాంట్ టు reinforce we we want to reinforce that okay we want to just revive this point yes the audio story the audio story audio story was about about uh, how zo is welcomed welcome by the classmates Uh, classmates so i have selected this so i can share if if they if they have not selected i can share, share, share some other point for example now option 2 option 2 let us say option 2 it says uh, uh, what it says help uh, help zo in studies help zo in studies this is not correct option so what i did if for example a student select this wrong option i want to give a prompt to him saying that uh, no 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 uh, uh, it's not about studies uh, why don't you go back and uh, listen to the audio and come back again so something like that so go back i'm just typing something now go back and uh, listen to the audio to the audio and come back yeah so this is one thing so similarly i can add like this so i'm not adding now so that uh, we can just say, and it it says add a range so if uh, uh, if uh, if there is one correct then 50% two correct uh, if one correct 100% if one is not correct then 50% like that so i will just show you how it works then then what i did i clicked on save yeah so you see that here now what is the main thing happens in the story the teacher and the class dash so for example let us say that i select help zo in studies i click check it says no you go back and listen to the story and zero out of this so i say retry again yes then i check this and it say you are right very good so the the purpose of showing this is we can use this tool for designing uh, Uh, when you share some uh, resources with your students you can use this tool for designing multiple choice questions where uh, if you want the multiple options to help student in learning so that was the purpose of introducing to h5p uh, now um, there is one more way of doing it uh, since we are working on h5p uh, i'm 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 showing that how uh we can also make interactive video for example i am listening to this video the same video and while listening in the bit, in the middle itself it asks for a question then we can also design like this the videos so for example i will show you now how it how that is done uh first what i will do is maybe i'll just play this uh, uh, i have just sample i have created uh the same story uh, then how that is created i will briefly uh, share that 
for example, I click here, it asks me some point. So what I do is why I click here. So most of the students who are busy either supporting their family or shopping uh, or with uh, some entertainment or most of the, so choose the correct option it is asking. So I choose an option here. So while they are watching videos, you can design assessment here. For example, I play again, it goes here. So the dot, the dot where there is a dot, there is one more question there. Yeah. So this is a multi single choice is nothing but multiple choice. The same thing what we did, I, I just shown you some time back, the same thing we have to do here that the questions will come here. Like question one, what is the option? Option two, then for example, I say like this. Yeah, it asked me one more question, whatever number of questions I want to put. Yeah, then it says, good, you have done nice. So we can give all the prompts here. Uh, uh, the prompts that the way we did for other places. Yeah, we can give that way. So, so for example, I will show you one more option how it has fill in the blanks. For example, we won't have to have fill in the blanks. Yeah, I, I click here, uh, I already solved this. So that's why it has come like this. So, uh, so it asked the teacher, asked the class to help Zoe with his dash. So I have to write studies. Then if I click, then it says, uh, yeah. so this way we can also uh, design interactives, uh, interactive videos. So videos can be used in multiple ways and assessments can be designed this way. So uh, because of, uh, I think time again, so I am, uh, 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 I'm skipping this, but if you go on YouTube also and search how to make uh, interactives, it will help. Even H5P site will help to design this uh, thing. There are some constraints that only 16 MB file can be used now, but we can compress that video and uh, that can be used. That should not be a problem. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the uh, one important thing, which is uh, uh, very important in virtual learning is about feedback. Feedback. activity interact one week so maybe they are doing some hands on project meer oka science or inti daggare inti intlone meer kitchen lo edo project chesi naaku cheppandi ela chestunnani meer task ichindi pillalu ichin tarvata valatu regularly at least especially in virtual it becomes important ki valak feedback ichedi vallu ela em chestunnaru emna tappu chestunnara valatu adigedi chaala important ayipothundi especially in virtual learning environment Otherwise, sometimes students feel uh, clueless. Maybe I'm doing, I'm having fun, which is good, which is good. But at the same time, uh, how are they progressing in the learning outcomes, what you have planned for them? So uh, it becomes very important that we give, we connect with student and give feedback. And it, it helps majorly in setting and if you are regularly in touch with them, they will also develop that culture and behavior that how they have to work in this uh, blended mode, the asynchronous mode that you are working through mobile, you're connecting for some time, but later on you're giving activities. So they will also have that. How they, so a regular feedback with students becomes very important. I will give feedback to 40 students if they are in uh, maybe WhatsApp or Moodle or some learning management system. So there are, there are some recommendation how it works. For example, for 40 students cook a particular topic pena or 30 students particular topic pena uh, task kitchen or activity kitchen. They have responded. How they have responded by sending you the clips or images or something. How teachers can give feedback, there are two ways. One is the common feedback, one is the individual feedback. Common feedback is when you look at the assignments, mere assignment, any pillar assignment choose, a particular pattern choose now, a particular concept or misconception. And that is clear. If teacher aim to do teacher, maybe they can record uh, by themselves audio recording 
or they can find some videos the way we have seen here you can go and search for some free uh, or videos which can be available so in that case what is happening is if there is a common misconception misconception among students by giving a common resource to all the students you will be able to address some part of it so how we can give we can give in the form of a video recording we can give form in form in the form of a audio recording or maybe you can when you are writing on a paper you take mobile and record while you are writing on a paper also the process and that that can be recorded and on can be shared with the students so this way also you can give feedback to the students but when it comes to individual then it becomes little personal then the messages may have to be personal or if they are on any learning management system the the feedback to the particular assignment may have to be personal or you may have to call students to discuss if there is a individual attention required so so largely i wanted to cover these things uh, there is uh, there is so much to go into but i thought especially the way we are operating now me mela especially mobile technology dwara operate chalantunam illal motivation increase chalantunam uh, 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 using technology device also how we can use different types of resources and how we can use different models of uh, designing i thought this is important so that's why i just keep kept it here what we have done mem em chesinam ante oka course design chesinam ee nen ee roju em em discuss chesina kodi inka detail lo oka course design chesinam andi a course pair unna technologies for online learning in school education the same theme on which i am doing this webinar so if you go to this uh, tisex.tis.edu you will find this course it is free and it won't take much time so all these examples are given especially uh, videos ela search cheskovali simulations ela search cheskovali itla ti interactive ela search cheskovali anni a course lo unnadi it will take maybe 5 to 6 hours of your time which can be in 2 3 weeks of time you can do that prastutan ki hindi lo unnadi sorry english lo unnadi mem telugu tamil bengali odia ee anni dantlo idi translate chesi oka next 20 days lo idi upload chestamu second clicks oer.tis.edu an oka website kuda unnadi akkadu kuda ee nen english resource chupichina resource akkadu nunchi nen teskunna so akkadu velthe kuda meeku chaala resource ideas dorukutayi importantly ee resources telugu lo unnai hindi lo unnai inka english lo unnai so telugu resources telugu lo translated kuda unnai so please go and you may find some resources useful here so nroer is any, anyways a government uh, central government uh, website here again you will find some resources uh, so importantly how resources are stitched together to design learning uh, plan is the important thing here so uh, i will stop here and i will take uh, any any uh, all the questions are there yeah thank you so much for uh, before taking question from uh, the participants um, let me summarize sir uh, thank you for uh, your inspiring uh, session sir ee roju meeru ee deeniki sambandhi affordances of technology how technology helps us to strengthen the quality of teaching learning process how technology helps for future ee objectives dwara meeru పార్టిసిపెంట్స్ ని బాగా ఇన్స్పైర్ చేయగలిగారు సార్ దాంట్లో భాగంగా వర్చువల్ బ్లెండర్ లర్నింగ్ తర్వాత ఇంటరాక్టివ్ వీడియోస్ ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ తర్వాత గూగుల్ ఫామ్ ను హెచ్ హెచ్ ఫైవ్ పి ఫ్రీ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ ని ఉపయోగిస్తూ మనం ఏ విధంగా ఈ యొక్క ఫ్యూచర్ కి మనం ప్రిపేర్ కావాలి ఈ కరోనా వైరస్ పాండమిక్ సిచ్యువేషన్ లో మనం మరి క్లాస్ రూమ్స్ ని టెక్నాలజీని ఉపయోగిస్తూ ఏ రకంగా మనం ముందుకు వెళ్ళాలనే దానిపైన మీరు బాగా ఇన్స్పైర్ చేసే విధంగా మరి ఈ సెషన్ డీల్ చేశారు ఫ్యూచర్ లో కూడా మా టీచర్స్ కి ఇంకా మీరు దీనికి సంబంధించి ఎడ్యుకేట్ చేయాల్సి చేసే విధంగా మీరు వెబినార్స్ ప్లాన్ చేయాలని ఏసీఆర్ తరఫున మిమ్మల్ని రిక్వెస్ట్ చేస్తున్నాం సార్ ఇప్పుడు ఈ గూగుల్ ఫామ్ తర్వాత హెచ్ ఫైవ్పి ద్వారా ఈ మల్టిపుల్ చాయిస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ప్రిపేర్ చేయడం హౌ టు లాగిన్ ఇవన్నీ కూడా మరి బాగా మీరు ద్వారా మీరు చూపించగలిగారు డిఫరెంట్ వెబ్సైట్స్ మీరు వర్క్ చేస్తున్నాయి కూడా మాతో షేర్ చేసుకున్నారు 
ఎడ్యుకేషన్ స్కూల్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ తరఫున ఎస్సీ ఆర్ట్ తరఫున మీకు మళ్ళీ ఒకసారి థ్యాంక్స్ చెప్తూ ఇప్పుడు ఈ క్వశ్చన్ అవర్ సెషన్ లోకి వెళ్దాం ముందుగా పద్మాప్రియ గారు క్వశ్చన్స్ షేర్ చేయాలని కోరుతున్నాను and they felt that it is uh, much useful in the present scenario right. uh, and the stu- uh, viewers actively responded to your uh, question sir when you started the session initially right. uh, they expressed that uh, lack of devices and uh, maintaining data and uh, one more point they raised is uh, the teachers need training to handle all these things mm. and uh, one of the teacher also expressed that Uh, geogebra classes to be organized okay. uh, sir uh, on h5p uh, mm-hmm. one of the viewer asked a question mm-hmm. uh, is h5p is an open resource yeah yeah it uh, should i respond now or should i take questions and respond together uh, it's up to you sir yeah i can respond this is it is a free open source software Uh, uh uh it is completely free software so uh, when it, it when it is free then uh, actually we are uh, we are relieved because they don't capture our data there is no privacy privacy issue and uh, uh, when it is free we are sure that our data is not going for any commercial purpose so it's a free software it's a free software and what uh, what is my submission to all the government uh, departments uh, with, with whom i am interacting is if we can host this h5 p in tro oer we are working the team scrt is working on tro oer then it will be very useful to teachers it's free yeah it's free okay thank you sir uh, one of the viewer asked can our voice be converted into script to create questions in h5 p can the voice be converted voice, as a script in h5p uh, maybe not but there are other tools which can be helpful other tools which can be helpful yeah okay so can we suggest few tools such few such tools sir uh, actually google comes with its own but i am just thinking about what are the free softwares but i will check about free softwares and i think we can circulate that information yeah uh, yeah uh, i'll i'll just end up with one more question later on uh, chandrashekar sir will be taking up sure uh, how to embed the question in between the ongoing video that is when a video is played in h5e uh, can yeah. we embed a question in between that's yes. the question and how to do that yeah i'm sorry i could not uh, that was part of the demo but uh, the way i went uh, we can put that there is a, the way we did for multiple choice question we selected a multiple choice option and it gives gave us the option so similarly what happens when we open a video in h5p it asks what kind of question you want to insert fill in the blanks multiple choice question true or false uh, or free text open open ended question and at what point 1.15 minute 2 minute at that point you want you select that minute and say i want re, uh, true and false so you can create a true and false there uh, it please go to h5p website there are many help videos and also on youtube many help videos which are free all these people are working in free space and they are developing these help files so that for every question there is a help file I, how i want to add fill in the blanks there is a help file how i want to add multiple choice question there is a help file so uh, i could not do that in the session today uh, but it is very much possible and very easy okay yeah. thank yeah, you sir it. thank you thank you sir now i request uh, uh, chandrashekar garu yeah sir good morning sir yes sir good morning yeah sir it is a, a nice uh, repre- repre- presentation sir Yeah, thank so, you. So, apart from the questions asked by Madam Padma Priya Garu, uh, a few questions. The first one is, is there any tool to create audio type multiple type of questions? Uh, audio type multiple choice questions? I yes, know. sir. Uh-huh. Uh, no, what you are saying is there should be an audio, uh, audio for the option. That's what, does it mean that? 
Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, one tool you can try. One is you go to Clicks, uh, Clicks uh, website uh, site only. There, you will find audio tool is there. Uh, basically, what you can do options. It's not easily available, but there are two tools. One is the Open Story tool in Clicks. You can go and try that. It gives option for adding audio, audio to the story. But but it does not give you option for creating multiple choice questions for audio. And Story Weaver is again a one more tool where you can create audio files. Uh, but again, it creates audio files but does not provide. So uh, yeah, two things: Story Weaver and Open Story tool can be the go way to go for this for now. Yeah. Okay, sir. One more question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it possible in H5P hmm? to call, to make more than 10 to 15 questions at a time? And does it has a free trial for all features? Yeah, so uh, we can make, we can make any number of questions we want to make. There are two ways. One is H5P is definitely free, but online what we were doing, because they want that every organization host this plugin in their server. So they provide online. Online has the, uh, some limitation on the questions. But what happens is, for example, this plugin sits on TROER. Then any number of questions, any number of tools can be used by any number of teachers. At this moment, they can make any number of questions. But the only thing is, for example, for the video, the size limit is 16 MB only. So we will have to compress that. But if the same tool sits on TROER, they can make a huge file video interactive also. So there is some uh, limitation, but it is not because of paid model. It is They are saying that we don't have cloud space to put a lot of your data. So please host it on your place. That is what their recommendation is. But we can make questions on interactive also, whatever number of questions we want to make, we can make still. Okay, sir. One last one. Uh, can we use H5P in the mobiles also? Yes, 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 yes. And the question which I did, the interactive and the multiple choice question, if we send the link on the link, the, it works same as the desktop. It works mobile also. So finally, one madam has asked, is feedback a, a part of H5P? Yes, yes. Yes, feedback is part of H5P. For a, many question type, they give feedback option. Yes. OK, sir. That's all about uh, today's uh, topic, sir. OK. OK. Thank you so much. Uh, hope uh, all the teachers here found this useful. Uh, and I'm, again, very thankful to SCRT to provide this opportunity to me and TISS uh, to share uh, the discussion here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for sparing uh, your valuable time for this webinar session. Uh, on behalf of this uh, CRT, I'm extending my thanks to you. Sure. Thank you, sir. Uh, Repati, next webinar, Gurinchi, Bhaktari, Kudamandi. తెలంగాణ ఇన్ కోఆర్డినేషన్ విత్ ఎన్ఐఆర్డి అండ్ This webinar uh, will be on 18th, 19th and 20th. This is the third day of the day of the webinar. Time is 11 to 1 p.m. It is 2 hours. Every day, it is 2 hours. The topic we are looking for is the management of mental well-being during COVID-19 pandemic. This topic is 
మూడు రోజులు ప్రతిరోజు రెండు గంటలు ఈ వెబినార్ ఉంటుంది ఎవరైతే ఈ వెబినార్ లో పార్టిసిపేట్ చేస్తారో వాళ్ళందరికి కూడా ఈ సర్టిఫికేట్ ఇవ్వబడుతుంది ఫ్రమ్ ఎస్ఈఆర్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ ఎన్ఐఆర్ తర్వాత మీరు అంటే ఉపాధ్యాయులు ఎవరైనా కూడా హెడ్ మాస్టర్స్ కావచ్చు ఎన్ఓస్ కావచ్చు ఈవెన్ స్కూల్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేటర్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేటర్ స్కూల్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ అందరూ కూడా ఈ వెబినార్ లో మీరు పార్టిసిపేట్ చేయొచ్చండి కాకపోతే మీరు రిజిస్ట్రేషన్ చేసుకోవాల్సి ఉంటుంది ఈ రిజిస్ట్రేషన్ ఎలా చేసుకోవాలి అని ఒకసారి చూసినట్టయితే దీనికోసం మీకు మూడు వెబ్సైట్లు అందుబాటులో ఉంటాయి మొట్టమొదటిది ఎస్ఈఆర్టి డాట్ తెలంగాణ డాట్ జిఓవి డాట్ ఇన్ ఇది ఒకటి తర్వాత ఎన్ఐఆర్డిపిఆర్ డాట్ ఓఆర్జి డాట్ ఇన్ తర్వాత ఎన్ఐఆర్డి డాట్ ఎన్ఐసి డాట్ ఇన్ ఈ మూడు వెబ్సైట్లలో కూడా మీరు తీసుకొచ్చే చేసుకోవచ్చు మీరు ఏ వెబ్సైట్లోకి వెళ్ళినా కూడా అందులో మీకు ఈ పక్కన కనిపించేటువంటి బ్రోచర్ ఉంటుంది ఈ బ్రోచర్లో వివరాలన్నీ కూడా పొందపరచబడి ఉన్నాయి ఫస్ట్ డే మన స్కూల్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ స్పెషల్ చీఫ్ సెక్రటరీ అండ్ కమిషనర్ స్కూల్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ శ్రీమతి చిత్ర రామచంద్రన్ ఐఏఎస్ గారు అండ్ ఆల్సో డైరెక్టర్ డాక్టర్ ఆర్ఎం పన్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ఐఆర్డి వీళ్ళిద్దరు కూడా పార్టిసిపేట్ చేస్తున్నారండి అయితే ఈ బ్రోచర్ తో పాటు మీకు రిజిస్ట్రేషన్ లింక్ కూడా ఈ వెబ్సైట్ లో ఉంటుంది ఆ కింద మీకు కనిపించేది లింక్ ఆ లింక్ కనుక మీరు క్లిక్ చేసినట్టయితే మీ పర్టికులర్స్ అందులో కొన్ని నమోదు చేసుకోవాలి ఆ పర్టికులర్స్ ఇస్తే మీరు నమోదు అయిపోతారు అయితే ఈ రిజిస్ట్రేషన్ అనేది మీరు తప్పనిసరి ఆదివారం రోజు సెవెంటీన్త్ మే లోపు మీరు రిజిస్ట్రేషన్ చేసుకోవాల్సి ఉంటుంది ఆ తర్వాత మీ రిజిస్ట్రేషన్ ఇబ్బంది అవుతుంది సెషన్ స్టార్ట్ అవుతుంది కాబట్టి మండే రోజు ఆ లోగా మీరు రిజిస్ట్రేషన్ చేసుకుంటే బాగుంటుంది ఇందులో మీరు ఎలాంటి కాంటెంట్ అసలు విషయాలు ఏమిటి అంశాలు ఏమిటి అని కనుక పరిశీలించినట్టయితే సైకాలజికల్ అండ్ మెంటల్ హెల్త్ ఇష్యూ ఎఫెక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ సైకాలజికల్ ఫంక్షనింగ్ ఎమోషనల్ హెల్త్ అండ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఫియర్ యాంగ్జైటీ అండ్ డిప్రెషన్ మైండ్ఫుల్నెస్ లర్నింగ్ అండ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ గ్రాటిట్యూడ్ అండ్ వెల్బీయింగ్ అప్రోచెస్ అండ్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ ఆఫ్ మేనేజింగ్ మెంటల్ వెల్బీయింగ్ ప్రాక్టికల్ టెలీ యోగా ఫర్ డీలింగ్ స్కూల్ సమయంలో ఈ అంశాలు ఈ మూడు రోజులలో ఉన్నటువంటి సెషన్స్ లో మనకు డిస్కస్ చేయబడతాయి అంటు అంశాలలో మనకి ట్రైనింగ్ ఇవ్వబడుతుంది ఒకవేళ ఈ రోజు కార్యక్రమం మీరు కనుక పూర్తిగా చూసి ఉండకపోతే ఎస్ఈఆర్టి డాట్ తెలంగాణ డాట్ జిఓవి డాట్ ఇన్ అనే వెబ్సైట్ ద్వారా లేదా ఎస్ఈఆర్టి తెలంగాణ అఫీషియల్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ ద్వారా మీరు మళ్ళీ చూసుకోవచ్చు ఇంతటితో ఈ వెబినార్ ముగించబడుతుందండి థ్యాంక్ యూ వన్ అండ్ ఆల్